Hi there, welcome to my video on how to use Canva presentations in your Thinkific course. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can use uh, Canva's presentations uh, so that you can make uh, your lessons more interactive, more visually, visually appealing, and uh, it's also really simple to use. Now, uh, the idea behind this is that oftentimes uh, when people are designing like presentations in PowerPoint, you can add video uh, clips or record your video directly into the PowerPoint. Uh, but here, uh, this process uh, and uh, steps in Canva is much more easier. Uh, the other advantage of using Canva versus PowerPoint uh, for your Thinkific course uh, for your lessons is that it's much more visually appealing. Uh, if you notice that a lot of the Canva templates, they're just so beautiful and they're really just um, very engaging when you're looking at them and they're just more, you know, easier on the eye. So uh, let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm logged into Canva and I'm going to click on presentation. And by clicking on the presentation, what I'm going to do is um, show you how you can build a presentation in Canva with video and then how you can incorporate this into your Thinkific course. Now, the beauty of this is that you can incorporate this into your course uh, that you teach either live or you can make this self-paced. So as you see, there's kind of um, a lot of different template choices here. Um, I am going to choose this one that I've been testing out recently. And the cool thing that I really like is that these are just like the consistency of the template as you can see so there's this yellow white and black and that's really what design is all about there's a consistency and there's a pattern that you can see across all the different slides and they really just kind of match so let me just kind of uh, show you like is this one you know the yellow white and black really just kind of blend well together and this it's they're all very clean and very minimal there's not a whole lot of um, noise and this kind of makes it easy when you're teaching and or uh, having these lessons in your Think of it course because um, you don't want to put too much information on these slides, but you just want to put enough uh, to sort of engage and really uh, get the student to pay attention. The other advantage of using these kinds of templates over PowerPoint is that they're set up pretty easily so that let's just take a look at this one right now. Um, this uh, has already been set up so that you all you have to do is just kind of replace these blocks with your own text. And if you want to delete some elements, you can. But um, this really just helps you um, kind of get started. So that's just like the first title slide. But you can see they all seem to follow the same kind of design with, you know, like the image on the right and then the text on the left. So this just sort of gives you an idea when you're building uh, where everything needs to go. The other advantage of using Canva, and I think it's also much simpler in my opinion, um, is this timer feature. So right now uh, you can edit the timing so that if you are teaching and showing these slides live, you can adjust how fast these slides go if you're presenting these whole slides or presenting this whole presentation or showing the whole presentation. And then it really is, um, so this already has a video, as you can see, I can, uh, this has video, this has video. But the other thing is if you want to uh, record your own video, you would just click on the video tab uh, you can record your own video, uh, which is really easy. You just click on record yourself and then it'll give you uh, this option of which camera you're going to use. So like this is my default camera, but if you have like an additional um, add on camera, you can use that and then the microphone and then you can just click start recording. Uh, but if you're not ready to record, just click on back to editing and just continue on with editing these uh, slides. So I'm going to minimize this and kind of show you like there's 15 slides. And so they all kind of follow the same kind of patterns. You see the yellow, white and black and um, the style of the image on the right and then the text on the left. Now, the the other thing I want to show you is that so if you're ready, this let's just say uh, this presentation is done and you're ready to um, teach this uh, and show this presentation live. The cool thing is then you can uh, directly present it from here, or you can click on this download button. 
And then you have all these kinds of download options. The suggestion I have is you can um, download this as a whole video and then uh, download this. I, um, and then just so you know that the image in the first uh, title slide is a premium image. So if you don't want to use the uh, premium image, you would just uh, replace that um, and incorporate your own images. And that goes the same uh, with all of these different images in these slides. Feel free to replace them with your own image. So uh, then you can, the cool thing is then you can download this as a video and then you can download all these uh, individual as one videos or you can download uh, them as an entire presentation. The kind of advantage that I would say, I want to suggest to you here is that if you want to, um, let's just say you want to do it two ways where you could download this as an entire video because you're not ready to um, show it live um, and present it live from here. You want to make some more additional edits. You want to have a video editor, make some tweaks and add some music. Um, that's a one option. But then the other option is that uh, if you do decide you want to incorporate them into your Think of It course, then you can download uh, all of this as individual um, lessons. And then what you could do is then put them into here as video um, lessons. And then you could say lesson one, um, and then upload the video from your computer and pick a video. And then um, you can uh, then select the video from a video library and, and then it'll show up here. And then you can add text and or downloads. And then once that's done, you can click save. Now, the other option is if you are teaching this live, um, you can click on uh, this live uh, so that you can integrate with Zoom. And uh, that's one advantage. I can just call this a live, oops, live Zoom lesson. Give it a topic. Uh, if I want to give it a description, I can give it a description. And then I can make this a meeting or I can make this a webinar, schedule it. Uh, as long as my Zoom account is connected to Thinkific. And just so you know, in order to use this live uh, Zoom lesson with Thinkific, you do need to be on the pro account or higher. So that's uh, just two ways that you can do it is one as a live Zoom lesson or live Zoom webinar or as individual uh, video lessons. Or if you want, you could just download it as one big video file and then splice them and have your video editor make some more changes. Let's just say you want to add some effects or transitions, um, then that would be the advantage. And then the last cool thing I want to show you about using Canva for your Thinkific um, uh, course and lessons is that you can have the same functionality here in the bottom and you can add notes. And so the cool thing is you can say, um, show people um, a Canva feature. I didn't spell it right, sorry. Okay, the idea is basically for this, I'm going to say slide two, and I need to show people a Canva feature in here. Uh, the main idea is really that Canva really makes it accessible uh, for uh, building presentations in your Think of It course for teaching lessons live. It's really visually engaging. There's so many gorgeous templates. Um, and that's the joy of using Canva is that it's really visually just easier on the eye. And it's just much more attractive because when you think about uh, people who are taking your course, they're really going to be excited and thrilled when they see something that really just attracts their eye and makes it look like, wow, this is so beautiful. It's just so gorgeous. And a lot of these templates are very easy to use. It's the idea of, you know, plug and play. So you don't like this image, you can click delete on your keyboard. Um, I can delete this whole thing if I wanted to. I can replace it with different images. I can, you know, change the text. The idea is all I have to do is just kind of replace everything and then my presentation is ready to go. So I hope that helps. Uh, leave me a question if you have any questions, comments, um, and give this a try and tell me how you like Canva. I think it's really beautiful. These templates are very minimal and just very um, 
design-wise, just very elegant. So thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.